This is my unboxing for Family Box. And this is a Christian subscription box that combines scripture with activities. So I am really excited to check this box out. It's $25 a month with free shipping. It ships to the United States and Canada. I think it's continental United States. I don't think it ships to Alaska and Hawaii. Um, but I'll put the link down below so you can check it out. And I'm not sure if there's a shipping charge to Canada. So, but it comes in this box. I was, did receive this for review purposes. And when you open it up, here is the inside lid. And uh, there's a verse from Deuteronomy. And it says, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. These commandments that I give you today are to be on your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk to them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. So the purpose of this box is to have family time every week to go over scripture and have an activity to kind of bring um, the message of God, you know, through that activity. So again, it's a Christian based subscription box. So if this is not your thing, that's cool. There's other, you know, different kind of faith-based spiritual subscription boxes out there. Um, on top, first there is, this is Seeds of Praise, and this is a CD, and there's different, 12 different songs on here. So, um, I don't know if this has to do with the different weeks, so I'll kind of find out as I open this. Then there's like a little welcome letter information sheet. Um, and it basically recommends that you pick a specific day and time every week to do this box. And it says each of the four packets, see there's four weeks right here, one for each week of the month. Each little packet contains a brief message for you to read with your family, a Bible verse for the coming week, a few simple questions to promote conversation. Please ensure that everyone's voice is heard. To reiterate, every member should have the opportunity to respond and ask questions, adults and children alike. A short prayer to reinforce the week's verse and instructions and materials for an easy and fun activity that reinforces the message. And this box is ideal for families with kids ages 4 to 9. So this is the June box, and the topic for June is Fruit of the Spirit. And it says in Galatians 2.20, we learn that Jesus died for our sins. Remember, a sin is something that we do not that we do that goes against God's desire for us and gave himself for us. Basically, he carried each of our sins with him to the cross, and when Jesus died, he gave us new life. As the chapter goes on, we learn about the ways Jesus' love lives through us. It says, over the next course of the next month, your family will explore more about this topic and how Jesus lives through the fruit of the Spirit. We hope that you find enjoyment as you participate in the following devotions and activities, and we would love your feedback or testimonies about how the coming weeks impact your family. And on the back of this letter is a um, way to track your weekly Bible verse. It says, putting this chart on the refrigerator or some other highly visible spot is encouraged. You will add a verse to each week. Try your best to learn all four verses by practicing each time you walk by it. If you have a little one who doesn't read, it's even more important that you take time to read the verse out loud when the kids are around. So then here are... Here's the back where you write each Bible verse, so then by the end of the month, you will have no four new verses. So, I'll kind of go through um, each week a little overview and just to see what um, what this box is about. Alright, so on the top it says, this is Galatians 5.22, but the Holy Spirit makes this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness. Um, and then there's uh, like a message here. There's some questions. And then the prayer is down here. And here is a coloring sheet. And each piece of fruit has a different um, word. Peace, love, patience, joy, kindness. Um, and then there is a half of a paper plate. Um, okay, and here's the directions. Color the first five fruits of the spirit. And cut them out carefully. Remove the paper on the back of a magnet and um, stick the glue to the back of one of the fruits. Repeat with all five fruits. The half paper plate will be our basket. Color the inside of it. Put the last two magnets on the back of the basket. 
place all the fry, all the fruits, um, and the basket on the refrigerator or another place where they will stick so all the family can see them. Throughout the week, try to catch people displaying love, peace, patience, and kindness. When someone does, place that fruit in the basket. See if you can get all the fruit in the basket by the end of the day. In the morning, start over. Okay, so then there is a pair of scissors. And here are the little magnets. And here are some crayons. Now, I would say it would have been nice if these were like just in a sealed package or just even a little baggy because you could see the color kind of got on the paper plate. Um, but probably just turn it over and, you know, color this side of it. Um, either way. But that would have been my only um, suggestion for that. So that is the little craft activity. And then obviously these are the magnets that after you cut the fruit out with, you put them on the back of the magnet. And as you see someone displaying each of these throughout the day, you put it in the basket. So looks cute. Okay, week two, again, there's a new um, verse at the top, a message, some questions, and a prayer. All right, then these, uh, week two, is there's the last four fruits of the spirit. And again, there are oops, magnets to place on the back of each one. Um, and then again, like week one, as you see someone displaying one of the fruits of the spirit, you put that in the basket that you made in week one. Week three, same setup as before the message and there's a pencil and some pieces of paper. The card um, says, as a family, think about the answers to the questions from the lesson. What are some things that we do that we know we probably shouldn't? Things that we should leave behind now that we belong to Christ. Write some of those sins on the piece of paper. Once you have several things written on the paper, set the paper aside. Fill a cup of water, bowl, cup or bowl of water. Place the first piece of paper in the water. Swish it around after the few seconds. Then do so with the remaining paper. What happens? How does this remind you of our new life in Christ or baptism? Then, week four. Same setup. Bible verse, message, questions, prayer. And there are several beads in here. Some pipe cleaners, a gold pipe cleaner. Um, and you're going to make a lightning bug. So here are some of the beads. Um, you put four glow-in-the-dark beads on one end of the pipe cleaner, leaving a little piping on the end. Um, basically this is going to be a little lightning bug with, and some of these beads actually glow in the dark. And those are, there's a little video that accompanies this craft that they link to. Um, and that is the, um, Okay, and this has the materials you need. Um, that is everything in the box. So, I think this is a cute box. Um, you know, while the crafts are rather, you know, simple, um, it is basically just meant to be kind of a physical activity to help reinforce the message that you're talking about that week. So, I do think um, this is a really very unique subscription box. And if you're looking for a Christian subscription box but have children, this could be a really nice choice um, because it gives kids something to do. And if you're a Christian family um, and spreading the message of the Lord and talking about you know Christ in your daily life is something that you like to do, this is something that you, know, you can talk about weekly with your children just to kind of help um, remind them of some of the values and things that you hold dear. So I think it's really neat. And it comes with a CD. So it's $25. Um, if you're interested in subscribing, I will leave the link down below. I have a full written review on my website at subscriptionboxmom.com. I'll probably do week one um, and have pictures and then just describe the remaining weeks. So then my family can kind of do each week as it comes. Um, but I think this is a, a neat box. So again, if you're a Christian family and would like a family-friendly subscription box with activities, this is definitely an excellent choice. So all the information will be down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.